Right, so now that we've got the overall skeleton of what we're doing, we need to go inside this um, if statement here once the username and password has been have been validated as being entered, um, and we're going to create our login query. Now, as you may know, or probably do know, we can't use the MySQL query function without connecting to a database first, because otherwise the PHP script, when it's running, is not going to know what it's connected to and what database is selected. So, we're going to use our functions.php script to manage that. I'm going to include this functions.php script in every page we use, except logout.php. So, um, the first function we're going to do, um, in fact, we'll, we'll do the um, connect to database. Uh, let's spell that right. Connect to database. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is say MySQL connect. And I'm sure you've done this a million times before. If not, I'll explain. The first parameter is the um, host. And I'm running um, on a local server on my computer, um, away from the world, pretty much firewalled. So I'm just using localhost. Um, and the reason I said it's firewalled is because I have a root account, which is a default account, and I have no password. The next uh, stage is to select a database, and we use this MySQL underscore select underscore DB. Obviously, database stands for or DB stands for database. And if you go back, to, if we go back to our um, browser, you can see that that's just called Remember Me. So we're going to type Remember Me in there. Okay, so this is pretty much done. You can add a bit of extra functionality and say or die at the end of that. So if that doesn't process correctly, um, the script will be killed. Um, basically from the head up because we're including this at the top of our script um, so yeah that's basically connected to, to our database um, I do know for a fact this is right if you don't know your database details you'll be able to find them uh, through either your host provider or um, on your local server which is probably going to look something like oh okay so our login.php page since we're um, selecting a database here we're going to need to include this functions.php page I'll just save that out I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to say include functions.php. Um, the reason I've called it functions.php is because we're going to be including a few more functions in here a bit later on. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is I'm going to set a variable called login, MySQL query. I think someone might once asked me why I was setting this as a variable and not just saying MySQL query. The reason being is um, once we've issued our query, we're going to need this login. Um, this login uh, variable to refer back to the results of the query in order to extract data from the database. So it's important that you do put it into a query using a single equals um, symbol just so you can refer back to the data that this query does actually retrieve. Um, okay, so this is basically going to select star from and our table name. This means grab all data, star means all, everything. So we're selecting everything from users that's our table name um, some people do get confused and say remember me but remember that's our database name not our table name we're selecting from the table users like for example if I had another table here I'd be able to then um, say it was called I don't know pictures I could say select star from and I could change this to pictures but obviously we're using users because this, this is a login script Okay, so select star from users uh, where username equals and then in single quotes, remember, if we're using double quotes, we're going to create an error because we're basically going to be putting, you know, confusing the script. This will be our end and this will be our start, which is not the case. So we're using single quotes and basically the variable username, which is the, um, the, which is the username that the user has typed in through our posted form. Okay, so this basically is the end of our query. Now the reason being is this is for security reasons. We're then going to go on a loop through the database and check for the correct password against this result. The reason this is a bit more secure than um, saying where username equals username and password and password equals password is because this um, whole query here um, is, is susceptible to SQL injection. I mean, this query is susceptible to SQL injection, but the way we're going to do it is that if, even if SQL injection does happen in here, the password from this result is still not going to be um, 
you know retrieved so we're not going to then the user isn't going to be able to fake this as um, a successful query they're not going to be able to fake it successfully the reason why is we're using a while loop and we're going to open up a block here using uh, curly brackets and we're going to say while row equals mysql fetch associative which means associative ray asoc is associative and this lets us have um, I'm sure you know from my other tutorials specific um, f uh, column names in the database we can refer to each column so we're going to be referring to the password column and um, comparing it to this past posted password but if you follow along uh, you'll get the idea if you haven't used while loops go and watch my while loops tutorial and watch some of my other tutorials and I explain this in a lot more detail this this tutorial is sort of like an update for the people that want the remember me style okay so um, and we're basically um, this brings up my point earlier we're going to be using this a variable here inside here because we're creating an array from all the data that was fetched from this query and then inside this loop we're going to check for the correct password so um, what we're going to do is first of all set a um, variable called db underscore password obviously this can be anything of your choice just don't call it password because that means we're resetting this variable that's been posted and remember we need to compare with this so I'm calling this db password instead of password and that's going to equal row and then we're using square brackets as this is an array remember we've said row is equal to this array created from this login from this query if that makes sense so row password and the reason this is working is because we're selecting from the users where the username in my case equals Alex so what it does is it zips to the database and says where the username equals Alex oh I found where the username equals Alex there it is and then we're retrieving the password through this here because this uh, row here is an array of ID username and password and we're referring to them by their um, column names um, instead of um, in a normal array you'd say 0 1 and then 2 so if this is a bit too confusing for you if, if you're not following this just go back and read my or watch my tutorials on arrays and the other login tutorials and you'll sort of get the gist of things okay so we've got our db db password our database password and now we're going to use an if statement to compare it to the password that's been posted so i'm going to say if password equals equals db password then execute some code um, yeah I think we well yeah we, we're only going to run one line of code underneath this so we don't need the blocks um, what we're going to do is we're going to say if the password does equal the database password then we're going to say login ok equals true now this isn't a variable that I've set I've just completely made this up out of thin air um, and this is basically going to determine, determine later on um, if our login was OK or not. So otherwise, if the password doesn't match, we're going to say login OK equals false. So this is a Boolean um, data type now, which means it's true or false, zero or one. Um, and that's basically going to, we're going to be able to use that later on and say if the login OK does equal true, when we can process a certain amount of code. The only thing that I've left out here, which you may have noticed or may have not, is that our password here is not encrypted. What we do need to do is use the MD5 function to encrypt our password that we've um, typed in to compare it to the already encrypted password in the database. See, we can't decrypt MD MD5 passwords, but we can encrypt something we've typed to compare it to an encrypted value already. So that's basically that. Okay, so in the next part, just down here, um, we're going to um, see if the login OK uh, variable here, if the Boolean login OK variable is true or false, and then set the cookie or um, session information from there, depending on whether the user has selected remember me or not. So that will be in the next part as we're running out of time. So I'll see you guys in the next part.